It's Thomas Stevenson with the Post Millennial. Great to meet you. Um, I saw a clip online that you said you met Tim a few years back, and that's what inspired the film. Um, what was it like to get this going with him? Well, you know, when you meet a hero in real life, uh, it's like when you watch a movie about heroes, not real heroes, but, you know, Superman and Spider-Man, they inspire you, right, uh, to do great things, to, you know, they inspire you to to save lives. You, you, you walk out, I remember when I was 15 years old, I, I loved hero movies because I, I wanted to become like them. But when you meet a real hero, not a science fiction hero, but a real one, it's impossible not to, you know, trying to imitate him. You know, tell me who you hang out, I'll tell you who you are. You become what you read, what you eat, who you hang out with. You know, friendship is like an elevator. Either your friends bring you up or they bring you down. So when I met Tim Ballard, it, it, he brings you up. You know, I was I was in shock. I was inspired, but I was in shock too because, because of him, eight years ago when I met him, I learned about human trafficking, child trafficking specifically, in details. And I, I couldn't sleep. But I couldn't look the other way around either. So he looked at me and he said, it's very sad now that you know it. I know what I told you is horrible. But now that you know it, if you do nothing, Eduardo, that's horrible too. Because then you're part of the problem. Part of the problem. What are you going to do? Well, I'm a filmmaker. I have a weapon of mass instruction, inspiration, film. Movies can move people. Movies, you know, they, they, they have a potential to raise awareness to influence how people think. Um, they have the potential to detonate a movement. And that's what I realized, okay, I have to put pause in everything that I'm doing so I can dedicate my life to make this movie, to produce this film. And together with Tim Mallard and all his team and all his friends and all the organizations that are fighting to end child trafficking around the world, hopefully this movie will inspire so many people and bring so many people together because only if we come together, government, society, young people, media, we can end this terrible reality. And that's my hope as a filmmaker, that when this movie comes out on July 4th, uh, millions of people will see it, and millions of people will ask the same question that I asked myself eight years ago. What can I do to end this? And what impact do you think this will have on the country and the world? Well, I mean, my hope is uh, a big impact, positive impact, um, a new movement that will put pressure in government because I asked him, Ballard, how come if this is a global problem, especially U.S. and Mexico, U.S. number one consumer of child sex, Mexico number one provider, how come if the U.S. is the most powerful country in the world, you guys have the money, intelligence, the army, police, why don't we finish this problem? And he looked at me and he said, because it's not a priority. I cannot be the solution, Eduardo, for, for to end this. I can be the solution for one child, for two, for 2,000. I'm talking about millions of children. It's beyond me. It's, it's big. We need a movement. We need to put pressure in government so we can turn this into a priority. And if we turn this into priority, not just for government, but for everyone, we'll end this. So my motivation, I said that day, I said to my... I, I thought about this. Okay, what if this is my daughter? What if this is my son? What would I do? Man, I, I started crying. Like, I will stop everything that I'm doing. I will hope that the whole world will stop everything they're doing so they can help me to find my child. Okay, don't wait for this to happen. Don't wait for this tragedy to happen to you for you to wake up. Why don't we just wake up now so we prevent more parents losing their children. And those who are missing, with the help of everyone, with the help of God, we can find them and bring freedom back to them. That's my motivation. And I hope that we can achieve that. This July 4th will be just the beginning of a global movement. This film will come out everywhere. Thank you so much, Eduardo. God bless you.